Hi, welcome back to Mr. Stewart's lessons. We're going to do some smaller stuff now, just some things that people might find useful. Um, and what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to make an image smaller than its original size. Um, because sometimes you get an image and it's too big or maybe you want to shrink it for some other reason. One way of course is to open it up in a graphics editor and actually shrink the image but sometimes we might just want to make the image smaller within the game and we can actually do that. So I'm going to show you how to do that here. Um, this is a demo lesson that I've created for this, a little maze game. Um, fairly simple, I just laid everything out by uh, placing it on the on the uh, world. I didn't use any fancy coding here and I have, uh, you can see I have some walls here and I have a mouse and I want the mouse to run around in the walls but he's a little bit too big for that so I'm going to shrink his size a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up and this is, you can see this is my world, this is the mouse. So I'm going to open up the mouse code window. This is the mouse here. So I'm going to open up his code window here and uh, we're going to make the mouse a little smaller. Um, he doesn't do anything yet, we're just getting started. I'll do some other stuff in here like make this into an actual maze that he has to go through. Uh, the best way to do it is to create a constructor. So the constructor is something that just sort of happens as soon as he's created, not, not even added to the world before he's even added to the world, but when he's first created. So I'm going to, to make a constructor, uh, you type public and I type mouse because that's the name of the class. This is a mouse class. So the constructor has to be the name of whatever the class of the thing is. So uh, this is uh, public mouse. What we need to do is we need to get the image and we need to assign it a variable. Uh, image in Greenfoot, it, the type is called Greenfoot image. So I'm gonna say Greenfoot image and I'll just call it my image and I just need to use the get image method so um, if I do control space you'll see this is one of my options. So now I have this image and I can do things with it. Uh, we've already, you've already seen us use this before for example in the health bar um, and so we're going to uh, change it. Um, so I'm gonna, what I want to do is I'm gonna make my image, let's say I want to make it half the size it is. So um, I'm going to first assign the variable for how big I want it to be. Now um, I could always open up the image and look and see just how many pixels it is, but it's a lot easier if I just want to uh, change the image based on whatever its original size was. So I'm going to change the height based on what it is. So um, first I'm going to uh, change the height of the the image and I'm gonna make it half so I'm gonna say make an integer uh, my new height and it's going to be my image and um, we're using the my image and we're using a method available in the my image and if I do control space one of the methods here is get height so, um, and we're gonna divide it by two. We're gonna make it, our, my new height is half the image. So what this is doing, creating a uh, integer variable called my new height, and it's saying uh, my image get height divided by two, okay? And um, then I'm going to uh, want a new width. Um, oh, and one more thing, let's, let's just make sure it comes out to be, oh no, it's gonna come out to be an integer anyway, so, um, but if you wanna make sure, I can say int in parentheses here, and it'll make sure that it comes out as a, a high, as an integer variable. And then I'm gonna say int my new width equals, this is called typing. When I say int before there, it, it's basically saying, whatever this thing started out as, make it an integer, which is basically just gonna round it off to the nearest whole number. Um, so I'll say my image, use the my image variable, and of course I'm gonna use the get width now. And I'm gonna divide that by two. 
So, um, so now I have uh, a new height and a new width, which is half the size of the old one. And I'm going to say, and I'm going to use another command. I'll use my image. I use the my image uh, variable, which has all the methods available to the image, to the green foot image. And one of them is called scale. And here it is. Okay. And uh, this is going to put in the number of pixels high, wide and the number of pixels high. I could put in any number here, of course, but um, if I don't, if they're not proportional, then it's going to end up a distorted image. So the best way to do it is to use the very. That's why I created the two new variables. So I'm going to create my new height. The best way to do this is use, using copy and paste to avoid uh, misspellings and my new width. Oops, I almost got it backwards. That's, uh, I'm going to undo that. The height should go where the height is and the width should go where the width is. So I'm going to paste my new height there and I'm going to paste my new width where the width goes. And now I'm going to compile it and I forgot a semicolon, so I'm going to compile it, and you'll see that the mouth, it, mouse is half the size he originally was. Um, I could obviously uh, change that, say you might want him a little bigger. Say for example you want him to be three quarters of the size, so what I can do is um, I can multiply by three fourths, or three divided by four, so I'll do times three divided by four, which is basically saying times three fourths of the height. And uh, if you, you notice he'll be a little bit bigger, about three quarters of the size now. So you can change his size in any way you want. Just make sure that whatever you do the first time is going to be the same as what you do the, to the second one or else he's going to be distorted. And that's how you change the size of an image. And I'll see you again soon.